Hello there and welcome to my review for Peglin, which has been recently released in its full version. And I want to answer the question for you if it is really as good as the 10,000 reviews that are very positive currently while I'm recording this on Steam might tell you. So we're going over the basics of the game, the good and the bad and the summary as usual. So let's get started about the facts. What is Peglin even if you're new to that? So Peglin is definitely in the roguelite scenery. That means you're unlocking stuff as you're repeating to play the same game again and again and again. The specialty and the unique point about this game is once there was a time when the employees asked their boss how many puns about spherical objects are we allowed to bring in and the boss just said yes. Everything here has some sort of an uh, orb pun and as you see here the gameplay itself revolves around shooting orbs into these uh, pegs here as they are called rack up points and flick them into the enemy. You do collect different uh, orbs and they all have different uh, effects and it is an all in all a deck building game. You also run around with relics which boost passively what you're doing and if you've played something like Slay the Spire in the last couple of months and years you're pretty much familiar with that. The game itself is built around the idea of buying new orbs after a combat, upgrading them, and then braving through the uh, areas here. As you see there, we have a node-based pathfinding system, and at the end of each floor, we have a boss to beat, and yeah, it is a very familiar system, I think, for many of you. The interesting thing here is that you have a lot of different options how you can play it, as you see, in contrast to all the other roguelites on the market, you're here not building a deck where you then play your actions or your skills on some on some board, and it's all deterministic. Here, this game is dexterity based. It is all about how good you are, able, how well you're able to hit those pins, and those things, they matter. Which makes this an, a refreshing take on the whole genre, which to me personally has been overplayed a ton, but Peglin, it is something special. Let's move on over to the good things. So, I really like this game for its unique take on the roguelite genre, as it is in itself something I have never played before. It plays completely different, as you see there, we have here different uh, balls that we can buy, and the deck building part is very fun because the items that you find and the upgraded orbs, they really are quite interesting to have different characteristics here for example this is a damage over time effect this one makes the uh, pegs hit harder once they have been refreshed and so on and so forth there's really a lot of different effects going on the other point that really really uh, stands out for me for this game in terms of other contenders of the genre is that the enemy design is very interesting due to the fact that we are fighting the way we do the enemies are not only um, moving over here, moving towards Orpeklin and attacking him, they also come all with their uh, distinctly designed arena, which always offers different um, challenges on how to beat that thing. There's also bombs, critical hit and refreshment stones, which are, well, strategic components. It's not only about the way you, uh, you you fire your orb, it is also about the way how you gather those uh, resources and you use them on the board. There's money on the board and these different layers, these, 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 these skill layers beyond the strategizing part are personally for me what makes this game really stand out and very interesting as it is extremely different to what I've played so far. What also is a very, very pleasant point to note is that you have a very, very nice form of rewards in this, uh, in this game in form of you make good decisions and your, your, your deck, if we want to call it so, is really, really rocking. If you don't make these uh, good decisions, it is not really that easy all the time. But, well, practice makes perfect and that is uh, really one factor. As you see here, I'm not really achieving anything. This is when you're not paying enough attention to your game instead of uh, instead you're uh, jibber jabbering about the game. Jokes aside, um, 
This brings me directly to the bad things about the game. Success or failure in this game can sometimes feel extremely random. Due to the uh, very different arenas, it is like, personally I think, quite impossible to be really good at all of these arenas immediately. You have to learn them, you have to uh, work your way around them, and not all of them will be good for you. Which leads me to the next point some enemies will just always annoy you because you're you, you just don't like their arena while in other games of this genre i think this is not as horrible because you can just um strategize accordingly to the enemy and even build your deck around it to be not as vulnerable to that here well you either learn how to beat that enemy or well you'll be uh, you're, you're gonna be hating it uh, forever i think maybe that's a personal thing on my end but there's still a couple of enemies that i always hate to see and they really kind of like ruined the fun for me while playing this game looking at you mr minotaur okay so that's just something that i really realized where I, uh, which I usually don't have as much problems in roguelikes and roguelites because I usually just strategize towards uh, these these encounters and then it's all fine. Doesn't mean that you cannot strategize into these encounters, but it also means that if you have a, a certain weakness of getting tilted by, by, by some mechanics, well, the game might be really pissing you off at times. The last complaint that I have what's this game is that well it uses a lot of concepts that we already know quite well trinkets check deck building check node based uh travel system check as you see there's a load of things that we already see have seen in other games and well let's just say i personally find many of the concepts even overused by now and many of uh, uh, many another game I would have uh, not even given too much of an effort of playing it anymore. But with Peklin, the, the things stand a little bit different as the game is just different. You see, due to the fact that the things work the way they work in this game, I am okay with the repeating concepts because I have to learn how to play this game anyway. So I don't mind these repetitive concepts, if that makes any sense to you. So it is blessing and a curse. But if you are like uh, kind of like tired of the whole genre of sorts, this game might be just another entry in the in the in a long list for you. I personally find it very creative and very very unique in so many ways that I wholeheartedly recommend it and that's moving on to the summary. So it is a unique game. I haven't played a rogue like that uh, worked like this before ever period. It's humorous, it has lots of puns, I love puns, I'm, I'm susceptible to that poison and uh, well it is also very family friendly. It's one of those games that my little son is able to play and he loves it. All right, I need to help him with the reading still, but uh, all in all, it's one of those games where you don't need to worry about your kids playing it and seeing something funky that, that, that doesn't make them sleep at night. This doesn't happen here. And it also shows your kids something about gravity and and, and, and those uh, and stuff like that. So it is even, if you if you look at it like this, an educative game which has certainly for us grown-ups also its qualities, but you get the idea. It also has a really, really well-made of uh, well-made array uh, of orbs to play around with. The orbs are fun. Seriously, there's a lot of wacky ones there that are really just awesome to play around with, and that's really something that I enjoyed a lot while playing this. There are very many different uh, strategies that you can can play around, and you can focus into certain parts of your build. There's really a lot of detail and uh, complexity to all of this, which is really, really appreciate. What would I personally really appreciate, and makes this game really stand out, even if it uses a lot of well-known concepts. That is okay. And last but not least, I must say, getting powerful in this game really, really feels fun. Having a, a, a overpowered build is feeling amazing. And the most cool part about it is, it's not necessarily an auto-win. Because many mechanics exist that might be 
backfiring on you if you are too powerful or if you are bending too much into one direction. Doesn't mean that you automatically lose if you're uh, relying on mechanic X into enemy Y. It's not working like that, but you need to put your brain back on and play according to the situation and just not to be like, yeah, I win this bonk, I don't even need to aim, which is cool. This is something I really, really enjoy. So, altogether, Pecklin is a very, very interesting en on entry into the uh, into the whole roguelite um, genre, which I am monitoring since it's a very early in uh, release into the uh, into the uh, early access market. And I gotta say, it has a lot of content. It's very, very cute fun because of the many many cool um uh, puns and uh, cutesy atmosphere can really recommend it unless you were looking for some gory souls like uh, challenging game then this might be not exactly for you what's left to say if you are not into dexterity based games this is entirely wrong if you're looking for a strategy based um roguelite you should really look for something that plays a bit more than slay the spire but if you if you like stuff like that if you've seen if what you've seen in this video so far gave you the feeling as if you also want to uh give you give, give this a shot because you're much better than this uh, guy here fumbling all the balls here on the video be my guest I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I really, really would like to know. And besides that, leave a thumbs up on the video. Consider subscribing. Down in the description box, there's a plenty of goodies. Feel free to check them out. Feel free to support the channel. And, uh, well, most importantly, take my thanks for being around until the very end of the video. I really appreciate it. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye-bye.